so let's start the story of the movie Wish Dragon from 2021 there was. A small village in China a class of children is learning about something the class teacher asks all her students to write the dragon ideogram and some try to write it but two children end up being kicked out of the class after showing what they had done in their notebooks Den Song and Lina Wong draw a dragon instead of writing their ideogram. And for this reason the two are laughed at by the whole class. Even on the way out Dennis teased by another student Lena gets angry and throws a bean cake at the boy who was teasing Den. She approaches him and with a smile on her face says that they could go home together after all her father is always late to pick her up and on that day a unique and true friendship was born in that. Small village and as time went by Den and Lena became great friends one day. The duo decides to create a kite in the shape of a dragon. The creation of the toy is a success but during the game Den and his friend are blown away by a strong windstorm and the kite is destroyed. But still the two don't get sad at that moment. They both promised that they will be best friends forever days later Din had finally managed to fix the kite they made together but receives the last minute news that his best friend is moving out of the village with her not willing to go. She says goodbye to the boy and leaves together with her father a few years go by. Next to that small village today Den works as a delivery man and with his great driving skills delivers all orders quickly through the city driving down the avenue Den meets his classmate Wei. The protagonist asks him to pass on all the content of that day's class for he would not have time because of deliveries Den says that he is trying to earn some extra money because his friends. Birthday is coming up and he wants to do something special for her near the end of the day. The protagonist is directed to his last delivery by his GPS. He is taken to an isolated and completely destroyed place while trying to find the person who made the order the boy ends up finding a door at the top of a staircase Den climbs all the steps and in front of the door. He hears a voice asking him to enter however. The boy can't open it but he realizes that that destroyed house didn't have walls or a roof. So it was quite simple to enter the boy realizes that the person who placed the order was an old man who was just sitting on a chair in that deserted place asking the customer what the method of payment would be the man replies that he is a god and would is waiting for the chosen one to arrive the old man says that the young man has a pure heart and for this reason would have the right to obtain the sacred item. The man quickly hands the boy a small green teapot and without question Den accepts it as payment the protagonist on his way home enters a store to buy a suit with the money he earned but he is thrown out for not having enough money the boy then runs to another store that sold much cheaper suits and finally manages to buy one he returns to his home in the same small village where he was born. The neighbors comment on the boy's efforts at school being very studious and dedicated to learning. His mother is a very strong personality. But she shows everyone the affection she feels for her son. But the moment of happiness is interrupted by the arrival of Wei who goes to his friend to give him the notes for the day. He says aloud that the teacher warned him that Din could not have any more absences. Otherwise, he would automatically fail everyone hears this and begins to bad mouth. The boy didn't get a tremendous scolding from his mother. But at no time does he try to defend himself stating that he will make an effort that that night while everyone was already asleep the boy had a smile on his face wearing his new suit. He goes to the top of a house where he looks forward to his best friend's birthday the next day a luminous billboard is turned on and on it was Lena who is now very famous and advertises for several. Brands didn't tries to find the right way to introduce himself to his friend after years and after several unsuccessful attempts his cheap suit ends up ripping into several pieces saddened by the distant reality that he finds himself from Lena. He leans on the green teapot and says he wishes he could be the girl's best friend forever at this moment. 
The object begins to move by itself. Its lid is thrown up in the air releasing an ominous smoke and then a huge dragon appears before Den's eyes. His name is Long Zhu and he carries the title. Wish Dragon claiming that he can grant up to three wishes for the master who summons him Den cannot believe what he is looking at the boy at first thinks he is dead. But after realizing that his new master is confused Long Zhu decides to demonstrate some of his incredible powers the Wish Dragon makes his master levitate and claims that he can give anything the boy. Asks for such as a military armor completely made of gold the incredible strength of 1,000 men a pair of falcon's wings or even the legs of a giraffe den is still suspicious of the dragon and asks. Personal questions of Long Zhu who ends up losing patience very quickly the heavenly creature claims that his only goal is to fulfill the wishes of ten masters throughout he has been granting the Requests so that in the end he can get his long dreamed of reward to have his spirit released from the teapot and live a peaceful life in the spiritual world Long Zhu tells Dan that the boy is his last master. And after the boy asks for the three would finally be free. Meanwhile three men are on a mission to capture the sacred teapot through a tracker. They are led to an old abandoned village two policemen doing security are knocked out by the criminals as they enter the place. They notice that someone is standing on top of one of the abandoned houses. They run up to it and find D talking to the green teapot at that moment Long Zhu reveals that only his master can see him the trio of criminals chase after the boy who runs away in desperation the boy tries to find a place to hide but ends up in a dead-end street in at the height of his despair puts his hands on the green teapot and says he wants to learn kung fu the sacred object emits a resonance and returns to normal the three men corner the boy and advance toward him the protagonist manages to dodge the onslaught very easily protecting the the teapot from any attack dines body at this point manages to master several kung fu techniques knocking out two criminals a few seconds later. He is attacked by the leader of the group who manages to throw the boy away. The protagonist takes advantage of the distance. He was in and escaped by climbing the walls of the place with the teapot in hand the next morning the boy notices his body moving in an evasive and skillful way. His mother was leaving for work and the young man does not miss the opportunity and asks her what she would ask for if she had a wish his mother replied. That her wish is for her son to have focus and determination in his studies Den becomes reflective and looking at the teapot imagines that everything that happened the night before was just a dream. But when he tries to call the creature that was in the object... He is surprised again by Long Zhu. The dragon informs the boy that he has only two more wishes left. The protagonist now faithfully believes that his wishes may come true. Dine's plan is to take a bus to his old friend's house. But when Long Zhu realizes that this means of transportation is shared with several other people, he decides to drag his master into a taxi, claiming that this vehicle is more comfortable and would be much faster to reach the desired location. The boy replies that going by taxi would be too expensive at which point the dragon encourages his master to ask for a lot of riches whenever he wishes to use a taxi D disagrees saying that it would be more interesting to go to his friend's house flying on a huge dragon long zoo upon hearing this refuses to accept his master's proposal. But when faced with the morning traffic that seemed to have no end the dragon gives in when they arrived on the scene. The protagonist tells the celestial creature that his next wish has to do with his childhood friend Long Zhu quickly intervenes and says that it is forbidden to change other people's feelings or personality taking the law of free will very seriously therefore. He could not make Lena fall in love with his master the wish dragon states that it is also forbidden to ask for time travel and to eliminate people din. Then replies that he wouldn't wish for that kind of thing because the two of them are friends. 
All he longs for is his best friend back just like in the old days when they were kids Long Zhu thinks that this is some kind of joke after all his master could have an empire and even an army but all. He wants is a simple friendship back then explains to the creature that this desire is much more significant than he imagines and the boy enthusiastically tells the whole story of how he met Lena Ten. Years ago didn't states that he is ready for his second. Wish he tells the creature that he wants to become a prince because that is the only way he could enter the party elegantly Long Zhu is pleased and grants his master's wish but because of his long life. Span. The dragon ends up transforming Young Din into a prince of the ancient Chinese dynasty. The boy tries to reformulate his wish and asks to be rich for just one day wanting access to stylish clothes, a super modern car and lastly a helper to help him throughout the day Long Zhu grants the request in to assist his master. The dragon transforms into a human and begins to work as the boy's private servant. Meanwhile, the trio of criminals continue to search for clues as to the location of the boy with the green teapot. They make their way to the store where and get his address at the entrance to the birthday party dinner and his employee arrive in style attracting looks from all directions during the celebration. The protagonist spots her former friend and tries to approach her but Lena continues to look sad and distressed and the girl is warned by her employee to smile more and greet all the guests present Leno obeys and puts a fake smile on her face she even dances for a few seconds within but doesn't recognize him and ends up talking to him robotically just as she did with all the guests Long Zhu now in human form realizes that his master's plan did not go as desired reminding the boy once again that he can ask for wealth and power and thus win over his friend during the party the DJ announces that at that moment the father-daughter waltz will take place but when he calls for the birthday girl's father everyone realizes that he wasn't even at the party didn't notices that Lena is uncomfortable with the situation and decides to improvise a live kung fu performance demonstrating his mastery of the martial art everyone is delighted but the birthday girl ends up leaving the ballroom the protagonist realizing this goes to meet his former friend Meanwhile Long Zhu was going through bizarre experiences one of the women at the party ends up kissing him and in the excitement of the moment some parts of his body begin to return to their original form the disguised dragon found this all strange and so he left the place to drink some water but soon realized that he was drinking water straight from the toilet he is in shock for having no idea what it was and goes in search of his master Den finds her old friend hiding in the gift room and the boy tries somehow to comfort Lena still not knowing who that guest was says that she is overwhelmed because she always has to convey a perfect and happy image. Even on the saddest days of her life the protagonist through a good conversation manages to make the girl cheer up a bit. She comes out of the gifts for it. And when she was about to ask the boy's name her father interrupts her with a call made by video call. He gives the girl a necklace as a gift but Lena had received the same gift last year didn't enters the conversation and says that a very nice gift could be given even twice if necessary. The girl's father is curious to know who was intruding in the conversation the man seeing the young man's face says he can't remember who it was. So he asks the boy's name and after thinking for a moment the protagonist answers that his name is Dan. The girl's father asks if he works and didn't replies that his family owns a large chain of restaurants throughout China believing this the man proposes that his daughter have a meeting with the boy so that they can get to know each other better Lena eventually accepts and Din believes it will be a fun experience meanwhile Long Zhu is listening to all the conversation behind the door at the end of the party the protagonist flies home with his dragon on the way Long Zhu contests the choice D made by lying to his friend. But the young man says that soon she will know the truth. But for now he needs to act this way. 
The creature starts to find the whole story very complicated telling the boy that he could make the same requests that all the previous masters have already made so he could win the girl very easily. And finally Long Zhu would be free in the middle of all that talk the dragon ends up revealing to Den. And at some point in human history, he was once a pure-hearted human of royalty, but he doesn't understand why he was trapped by that curse. Meanwhile Lena's father talks to one of his investors and realizes that his company's stock is falling apart and at some point bankruptcy will come worried about his daughter's future the man contacts. The three criminals who are in search of the green teapot and says that he wants the object as soon as possible D arrives at his house and realizes that his mother is about to return from work. He gets rid of all his fancy clothes and grabs one of his books to protect him. He was studying his mother comes home from work and suspects that her son was drinking on the slide the two have a little argument and D speaks out loud that he hates his own house. The boy's mother is extremely hurt as she is not sure what the boy is going through the next day D leaves his house and is quickly followed by the three criminal but the men are surprised by the simple. Boy coming out of an ally in a luxury car with a chauffeur the protagonist goes to meet Lena and the excited girl says she is looking forward to meeting a nice guy her own age D gets desperate and asks his dragon for help. The boy wishes to have the manners of a high class person Long Zhu doesn't accept at first, but after a few attempts. The dragon takes control of his master's behavior Long Zhu makes D act in a rude way to all the employees of the place and even to Lena the girl says that he is acting exactly the same way as all the other rich people in that place. She just agreed to have a meeting with Den because she thought he was different from the others Long Zhu doesn't understand why his help has disrupted his master's meeting after all when he was alive treated the 17 wives he had in the same way didn't tries to apologize. But before he realizes that one of the criminals was in the restaurant the protagonist tries to get his friend out of that place by telling her that they are being followed by suspicious men the two manage to get out of the place but come across a float parade that was taking place in the city streets Den takes Lena to an ally to hide and asks Long Zhu to help them. So the Wish Dragon transforms into a costume for the parade in the streets. The pair of friends meet the trio of criminals in another costume at that moment dinner in the head of the group begin an intense fight with kicks and blocks inside the costumes after several blows. And with Lena's help, they manage to escape they run to the top of a building but are again surrounded by the bandits Long Zhu asks the boy to trust him and quickly the dragon creates a gust of wind capable of carrying them across the city sky the criminals also try to fly in the dragon costume but fail. Miserably the force of the wind carries Den and Lena to the neighborhood where the boy lives and when Den finally decides to reveal who he really is his desire to be rich for a day ends and he returns to his ordinary clothes. Lena didn't need to hear Den's because she finally remembered who he is. The girl is frustrated that her best friend has been lying to her all this time. She starts walking through the streets and remembers all the adventures she has had with her friend Lena eventually finds the house where Den lives and upon meeting the boy's mother she is happy to see her that night. Everyone had a great time didn't calls his friend to go to a place where they used to play the boy tells Lena that this time they could have a real date. Without pretenses or pursuits but the girl replies that she no longer has time for that at that moment. She answers a call from her employee saying that the photo session will start soon. She tells her friend that her life is not like it used to be and that these days she tries to reach the goals set by her father after all he has always strived to make both their lives better Lena. Just leaves and Den is totally disappointed overcome with strong emotion.
He takes the teapot to the place where he was with his friend and invokes the wish dragon. The boy says that he is determined to fulfill the last request wishing to have as much well as he can in this way. He would comply with the agreement and finally Long Zhu could get rid of the curse. The dragon becomes thoughtful and performs his magic. However, he takes his master into the limbo of his past. Long Zhu tells Den his whole story as emperor. He had loyal servants who always complied with his wishes without question in his adulthood. He ordered his daughters to forcibly marry suitors from other wealthy families to expand his empire and for his only male son. He ordered him to go after valuable treasures. But the boy ended up losing his life in one of his expeditions. Long Zhu also tells that in his last moments of life no. One was by his side his own family and servants abandoned him at his last breath. He cursed everyone in his kingdom and at the portal to the other world. He was barred by a superior entity who condemned him to wander the earth in the form of a dragon to enter the spirit world and have his rest. He would need to have ten masters in the human world Long Zhu brings into the present and tells the boy that by following the path of gold he could lose important people but even so the dragon gives. His master free will to choose what he wants at this point the criminals together with Lena's father find in they ask the boy to hand over the teapot. But when he refuses a battle between the leader of the trio and Den begins once again. Kicks and punches are exchanged on top of a structure with a stroke of luck the criminal manages to strike D and throw him to the ground the boy falls without suffering much damage. But Lena's father is betrayed at the last moment being thrown from the top of the building by the bandit who now has possession of the green teapot the criminal summons Lung Zhu and as him to grant. Him a wish the man asks that everything his left hand touches will turn to gold after which the trio flees leaving Lena's father in a critical situation the girl arrives on the scene and tries to help. Him while Den goes after the bandits the boy manages to get to the fugitive's car and soon enters into combat with their boss after several blows are exchanged the bandits manage to take possession of the teapot one of them wishes for several puppies. While the other wishes for his legs to be longer due to the various blows exchanged between D and the gang leader the car they were in ends up turning to gold and goes off the road out of control. But Dan manages to save himself in the villain and the two of them fly through the skies above the wish dragon the battle is now in the criminal's favor and to eliminate Den once and for all he strikes. A blow with his golden fist. However Long Zhu steps forward and is completely transformed into gold now all three are in free fall. But in a moment of his own body and also becomes a statue being completely destroyed by the impact of the fall Long Zhu and Din fall safely into the sea. But due to the weight of the gold the wish dragon sinks to the depths of the ocean next to his teapot Din tries to help him. But can't at the gates of the spirit world the former emperor meets with the god of that world. He states that Long Zhu had fulfilled his mission and was finally able to take his eternal rest. He had put the will of others above his own and this became an act of kindness. The emperor says that he cannot cross over to the other side yet because one more wish has yet to be granted to his last. Master. And so he wishes to become a dragon again the old man finds this difficult but grants the will of the great emperor Den was upset. But is reunited with his friend the boy's last request becomes true and Lena's father comes back to life after the accident. He suffered and returns home. And as he embraces his mother he says that he already owns everything that matters and has no worries about the life. He has Lena and her father go to Den's house and the two families have dinner together that night sometime later Lena's father has invested all the money he had in a restaurant together with Den's mother the two families work together and are happy with their current situation in the next morning of work Den finds a teapot with scriptures similar to Long Zhu 1. 
He takes it and goes into a street in an attempt to agree his friend again and as he does so the wish dragon comes before his eyes the old friends meet again and Long Zhu reveals that in order to fulfill the boy's last request. He needed to accept again the journey of serving ten masters and only then could he enter the spiritual world. They say goodbye once again and in places the teapot in the card of a street vendor who claimed to be God. So the cycle of wishes again starts in Lung Zhu life. So, how was the movie? Leave it in the comments below and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more.